Today's a fun day. Crystal and I are up in the mountains. We're chasing heritage trout. Today we're looking for the Goose Lake Red Bands. We're up in one of the tributaries that are supposed to hold it, so see how we go. Mm, the water's kind of off-colored here today. I'm not sure if this is runoff. Probably runoff. A little cloudy. I'm gonna start off fishing a dry. And if I can't get anywhere, switch it up and try nymphing. Bit of a learning curve here. Trying to get these dries in here. Let's look at this. <laughs> I think I'm going to switch up to an nymphing rig here. All right, switched up tactics. We're fish, fishing uh, with nymphs now. Put on a size 18 sexy waltz worm. Let's see if we can get this done with that. Oh, had one on. Sweet. Okay, that was the right move. <laughs> I have a size 18 sexy waltz on. I thought I snagged. Yeah, anytime it slows down. <laughs> I think that's the ticket. Oh, one just jumped. Oh, got him. Oh, he came off again. I think this is gonna be a case of net him fast. There's a lot of dead branches in this run. I'm gonna shallow up about six inches. There's one. Well, these things are tiny. Get wet. Take some time to get a picture of this because for the Heritage Trout Challenge, you got to take a picture of them. Two and a half, maybe three inch fish. That fish counts. Uh, definitely keep fishing. I'm gonna help Crystal get on some next and then uh, maybe we'll fish for a little bit longer. Let's see if we can find a bigger one. I 
unfortunately the winds come up so if this continues we might just cut and go to the next species of red band trout Crystal got her fish, so maybe I can make it make it happen for me too. I think I just want to catch one more. Just so I know it's not a fluke. There's one. Oh, it came off. They're quite little. This right here looks like a nice little stretch of water. Let's see what I can do. Tuck against the bank a little tighter. Nope, nobody home. Let's look for a few more minutes and then we'll move on to the next stream where we can look for the Warner Valley Red Bands. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil as I drift my flies under these limbs. Well, I made it. Let's try that again a little closer. Ooh, I made it right under the edge. Fished before these logs where they create these little pools several times, and you'd think it'd be where the fish are, but they seem to like the water that's tucked up under undercut bakes that's a little slower. That's where Crystal and I have both been catching. Got one! 
I wonder if this is your fish. <laughs> a little bigger. Got him on Bob's little green tube fly. He'd be happy to hear that. I'm gonna get a new picture since this one's a little, it's a little more typical of what the red band should look like. I don't know, he's about, let's see, four to three, seven. Nice. Yay. All right. Everybody, thanks so much for watching. With the general fishing opener in California, it means the rivers are mostly open and I can go and target some trout from the Heritage Trout Challenge. Today, obviously, I was targeting the Goose Lake Red Band Trout. Uh, they're only available in a few small tributaries that feed into the Goose Lake, if you want to call it that. It's been dry for years. I went in thinking I could try to get them on dry flies first, uh, but you know I was really struggling to get the flies where I needed them to. There was a lot of willow branches, so I switched it up, went back to Nymphs, put on a size 20 Sexy Waltz Worm, and got them pretty quickly right thereafter. And uh, the fish are small and they come off pretty easy, so obviously uh, you want to get them up and get them in the net as soon as possible so you can get a picture of them and count them towards your heritage trout challenge. As far as flies go, uh, Crystal was also getting them on a shot back. So those two flies in a small size did really well there. So I think any small bugs would do the, do the job just fine. So I was alluding to it several times saying I wanted to get a fish there, get a picture and move on to get another species of red band in another area. But on our travels up there on the mountain road, there was a big tree that had fallen across the road and Crystal was suffering from a cold. So we didn't want to you know, take the long way around. So I guess that's another day I can get back up in the mountains and go try to get those other ones. Unfortunately, these two red band trout, when you do your research and look up what part of the California they're in, they're way up in the northeast corner. Like you're basically up against Oregon and Nevada and there's really no other reason to be there. I mean, the country and the mountains are beautiful. Highly recommend it, but it's not on the way to anything. You gotta go three or four hours just to get there off a you know, major interstate. So I'm gonna be going back. Hopefully this season we can get up there and get those Warner Lakes uh, red band trout. Just a reminder, if you want to join our Discord, we got a nice group of people that talk about fly fishing and they're all local, so there's a lot of knowledge there uh, for the rivers up in NorCal for the most part. But we're growing. There's people up in Utah, New Mexico, Colorado. So come on in, join the community. Uh, there's a link to that down in the Discord. Thanks everybody for your continued support of the fly shop. It means a lot and helps me keep making these videos and keep them coming. So if you want to pick up some of the flies that I've been using in these videos to catch fish, jump on over to driftstone.co shop and you can see what I've got available. Until the next time, everybody, Godspeed.